Okay, we're given some information. In a recent poll, 600 adults were asked a series of questions about the state of the economy for their children. It's future. Do you expect your children to have a better life, worse, or about the same? 243 said better, so positive. 313, ooh, look at them negatives. And then 44 about the same. Uh, remember what we're going to do is we're going to test to see is there a significant difference, okay, on the proportion of adults who feel their children will have a better life. So if there's a significant difference, then our proportion, our null is equal to a half or 0 0.5. Our alternative would be not equal to 0 0.5. Oops, why well, I got that value there. And now it says use a alpha of 0 0.05. Okay, so the problem with something like this is if you're thinking about the binomial that I just did on the other video, man, can you imagine have, having to add all of these probabilities? We had, what, seven positives. This is 243. So if you remember from stats one, and if you took me, you better remember because we did do it. We did the um, normal approximation, okay, for a, for a binomial. And so to do this, the first thing is remember you throw away the ones that there was no difference, that had no opinion, okay, in this case, or, or, or says about the same. There's no, no difference that they will have a better life. So that becomes my new N. My mean, the formula for my mean is my N times my P. So that gives me pretty much my expected value. So in other words, I would expect about 278, okay, um, in this case to say their children have a better life based off of this distribution. And then my standard deviation, the square root of N times P times Q. Well, Q is just 1 minus P, and it just so happens in this instance it's the same, but to be politically correct, I'll put 1 minus P, get all my parentheses closed, and there is my standard deviation. So for the normal approximation, a normal, a Z, what you do to find your Z value is you take your positives, okay, so your your value of interest. Now, the only problem with the normal approximation is if you remember, you're going from a binomial, a discrete, to a continuous. If you remember what you're supposed to do, hopefully kind of, sort of, is you just simply add 0.5 and so I could kind of just do that here, not probably needed. But what this is doing is making it continuous. So I will take that as my value of interest minus my mean. You see why we got the mean now? And divide by my standard deviation. And this will give me my Z value that I'll either go look up in a table or in this case, I can say, well, I can do my norm.s.dist. That's my z value. Okay, and this is negative, so less than, so definitely cumulative. And I get this number. Now, look at your alternative. This is a two-tail test. So the p value, I don't know, some of y'all might want to just do this in one step. The p-value then should be 2 times that value. And so as we can see, my p-value is less than my alpha. The p is low, the null must go, right? So we reject the null, and we conclude that there is a significant difference between the adults who feel their children will have a better future versus those that say a worse future. And that's it.